What's up, juniors? Uh, no reason for you to necessarily see my face in this video, except some of you have never seen my face. I am your World Lit teacher, Mr. Lambert. And today, I'm going to show you how to do these three exercises right here that are going to be in your week one folder, identifying principal parts of verbs for exercise one, two, and three. All right, so the lesson begins with this. I hope you know what a verb is. You can drive a car or you're old enough to drive a car. You should be able to know that the verb go is how that car moves. All verbs have four principal parts, four main parts. There's a base form. There's a present participle form. There's a simple past form. And finally, a past participle form. So we've taken two pretty simple verbs right here, jump and study. Those are the base forms. Those are their regular forms. Uh, you can add an S to them, and it's still the base form because he jumps, I jump. Present participle means you need a little help with it. So it can't just be uh, a word by itself. We're going to change it to an ing form, which means it's going to become jumping, but nobody just jumping. You are jumping, or she is jumping. So for studying down here, it's going to be maybe am studying. I am studying to do well on this test. All right, so they require those helping verbs. Simple past just means the basic past form. And for most words, most words, you just add a D or an ED. So jump becomes jumped. Study's a little different because you got to drop that Y, but you've known this probably since fourth grade. That becomes studied. That's your simple past. Past participle, just like present participle, requires a little bit of help. Same verb, but you're going to have a helper in front of it. So I have jumped before, or she has studied. All right, those are the four forms. Showing you one word in all of its forms down here. We got the verb ask. Again, the base form is the children ask for a snack. Present participle, they are asking for a snack. Simple past, they asked for a snack. And past participle, they have asked for a snack at one time in their life or other. We have three exercises for you to complete. Each of these is going to be worth points. Uh, it doesn't matter if you get a few wrong, you're going to get five points for doing these. And in a couple of weeks, week two, you're going to be taking a quiz on this concept. All right. So your first exercise is real simple. The directions tell you identify the bold verbs in each sentence as base, present participle, simple past, or past participle. You got to spell correctly. That shouldn't be too tough. And write exactly those words. So write simple past. Don't just write simple or write past. It will be marked wrong because it's a Schoology thing. It's got to look for certain words. So for example, here it says, I kicked the cat. If I want to get that right, I'm going to write simple past on the blank. She chases boys. Remember, if it's just a regular verb ending in S, that is a base form. I am living a nightmare. That's got the ing. So you know automatically that's present participle. And then she has lived. We've got a past form here with a helping verb. So that is past participle. All right, that's how you do the first exercise. Simple enough. Exercise two, it says complete each sentence by writing the form of the verb indicated in parentheses at the end of the sentence. So here are a couple examples. We all blank in the same neighborhood. We need to put the base form of live there. Well, guess what? It's the same word. We all live in the same neighborhood. Whereas down here, it says I blank in line for the new Xbox. I need the present participle of stand. The word I indicates which helping verb we need. I am standing. You wouldn't say I are standing, so you can't put that there. All right, that's exercise two. Exercise three then takes these words out of context. Can you identify them without a sentence around them? So it just says to write the form of the verb indicated. If there are multiple possibilities, write just one. So when it says past participle of clean right here, you would write have clean. You, whoops. You could also write, I can't spell that word, I guess. Have clean. There we go. You could also have written has cleaned. Both will be considered correct. Just do one. The simple past of wash is washed and the present participle of find again there are multiple choices here just pick one am finding will do just fine so that's how you do your three exercises hopefully this little video helped you out and if you have any questions make sure that you ask them at our synchronous time meetings which are on thursday and monday